There is still so little we know about the ocean and the creatures in it, even when it comes to our most iconic sea inhabitants. New Center Maine's David Guilford shows us how scientists are diving into new research that could help us better understand how and where lobsters choose to live, which could mean a lot for everyone from climate researchers to fishermen. For most of us, our knowledge of a lobster's life begins here, not long before it ends. It just feels like a little kind of mystery that you're solving every time. Jessica Waller and her team with the Department of Marine Resources spend each summer studying these little creatures, lobster larvae. So we're trying to learn more about that really critical time in a lobster's life. Each June through October, they go out on the waters of Booth Bay Harbor and drag nets across the surface, often catching newly hatched larvae before they would eventually drift down and settle into life on the bottom. So we know that lobsters are really sensitive to temperature. Uh, it really impacts both their growth, their development, their behavior, where they choose to live in the water column, and we think ultimately where they choose to settle. This is their fifth year of the study, and Waller's team wants to know how temperature affects lobsters in their youth. We can figure out right now sort of how many might settle to the bottom and what that means for the population currently. Waller sends some of the larvae across Booth Bay to Aubrey Jane at the Bigelow Lab. Here, she dives even deeper into specific temperature effects, not just for now, but as the Gulf of Maine warms faster than nearly anywhere else on Earth. Knowing what thermal thresholds are for them can help us figure out what the minimum and maximum temperatures that they can withstand or choose to live in will be, and then can help us figure out what they might avoid moving forward and how that drives a northward migration, if that's what's going to occur. As our planet changes, the work of these scientists could help us understand how our most ancient species react and help our most iconic industry adapt as they do. In Booth Bay Harbor, David Guilford, New Center, Maine. The lobster larval study has been conducted in the mid-coast since 2018. There are companion studies done in other parts of Maine's coastline as well.